hey guys welcome back to my channel it's Peyton and today I'm back with another video installing these seamless yakky clip-in extensions that I received from curls queen so let's go ahead and just get started and hop right in hopping straight in with the unboxing they sent a nice little gift bag with some goodies in it. They sent a drawstring bag for storage purposes. They sent a gift bag. This came with this brush, some extra clips for the extensions. They sent this drawstring bonnet, which is my favorite. Then they also sent some maintenance and hair care cards. Here are the extensions and these are their light yakky extensions in the length 20 inches and they sent a variety of different lengths for the clip-ins they sent four things of the two clip extensions these are the smallest they sent two of the three clip extensions they sent three four clip extensions and then i just wanted to show you guys how flat and seamless these clip-ins are they honestly look like tape ends so I did end up going to Paris to get these installed just because I'm not doing a traditional clip-ins install I actually did a braid down here's her braider braiding my hair kind of like if I was about to get a traditional sew in so I have just this much leave out Paris did just end up putting a net on top of my braid down because I have a really small head she sewed it down and this was supposed to make it easier to attach the clips onto so that it did not pull my hair as much and kind of like a five minute quick weave so this honestly took about 10 minutes to install the clip ends in my head this way and i found it was like super duper fast and a lot easier than trying to focus on making it as like flat and seamless but these are not the traditional clip ends they are very flat and seamless kind of like tape ends so i feel like it's just as easy to install them with your natural hair out with no braid down but obviously installing clip-ins on your natural hair is probably going to be easier than trying to install it down on braids because it's better when the surface is flat as you guys can see Paris was pushing the freak out of these clips so to each its own I just wanted to do this method because I didn't really want to have to take the clip-ins in and out of my head every day and it's kind of like a protective style with minimal leave out which is a lot easier for me since I go to the gym regularly I didn't want to have to keep pressing all of my hair around my head I just basically left out the perimeter so that I can do a middle part and also put it up in buns and ponytails <laughs> Overall, I give these clip-in extensions a 10 out of 10 in terms of the blend. I feel like it matches my hair exactly as you guys can see. As Paris presses my hair, I feel like the blend just looks really nice, flat, and seamless. That's why I always love Curls Queen's extensions. So this is how the blend with the clip-ins came out initially. I specifically went to Paris because I knew she was going to have my natural hair laid. I definitely cannot press my hair as good as her. But look at that, y'all. Flat and seamless install. And oh my god, my head is so big. But we're going to fix that soon. I just love how these clip-ins blend with my natural hair so freaking well. And they always do from Curls Queen since they specialize in natural hair textures. I love that about them. So about a week later, this is what my hair was looking like after going to the gym and stuff like that. I just decided to show you guys the process of me taking the clip-ins out myself, re-washing them and reinstalling them since I kind of didn't give a very clear tutorial for Paris's install. I just wanted to show you guys my braiding pattern a little bit better. And I also wanted to show you guys how to wash your clip-in extensions. So it's pretty easy. I just basically wrap them all up with a hair tie and shampoo and conditioning kind of like I'm shampooing and conditioning a ponytail but also making sure to get in between the clips and um, after that I just went ahead and conditioned it for about four to five minutes and rinsed it through and blow dried it 
and I also wash my natural hair as well since it was pretty oily from the gym and stuff like that I feel like this is like um, a really quick and easy way to make your hair look like you have like a fresh silk press honestly <laughs> So after pressing my hair, I went ahead and just reinstalled the clips myself. I started with the biggest clips at the bottom and the smallest clips at the top. I'm not going to lie, all the clips almost didn't fit on my head, so I kind of had to squeeze some in here and there. I feel like when you first see the clip ends, it doesn't look like a lot, but once you start installing them and you see how much hair is on each weft, they send you enough so that your hair looks full, thick, and voluminous, which I really like since I had barely any leave out. So I definitely did not press and straighten my hair as well as Paris did with the initial install, but I just wanted to show you guys how easy it is to install these clip-in extensions by yourself if you can do your own brand out or just have somebody do it for you. I feel like this is also kind of like a quick weave hack. Instead of using glue, you can use clip-ins and a net to make it look like you have a traditional sew-in in about 5 to 10 minutes depending on how quick you can install them yourself and blend your hair i really really liked how it ended up looking and you can still make it look really versatile if you do it this way if you leave hair out around the perimeter i also use some lace edges shout out to amazon for sending me these to make my forehead look smaller so this was the end result i feel like it looked so nice and seamless honestly a lot of people have been asking if i got a traditional sew-in which it really does look like one but it's not so let me know what you guys are thinking about this install in the comments down below. If you guys have tried Curls Queen or you're going to try this install method, let me know. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Shout out to Curls Queen again. Love y'all. Bye.